everyone, and welcome to my channel, Baking and Buttercream. Today I have Abs here. Hey! She's a great friend of mine, and today we're making a carrot cake. Let's take a break and bake. <laughs> Alright guys, so for this first little bit, I will be making the cake and then Abs will come back later and teach us how to decorate it. Alright, see you later Abs! Bye! Alright, now that Abs is gone, we're gonna go ahead and make the carrot cake, but before we do, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload, and hit the like button on this video so that way I know that you love Easter and carrot cakes as much as I do. And don't forget to comment down another sweet treat that you'd like me to make in the future, or if you have a challenge video idea, comment those down below as well. And now let's make this Easter carrot cake. The ingredients you need are three cups of carrots, two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of brown sugar, half a cup of granulated sugar, three large eggs, and two egg yolks, a third cup of milk, five tablespoons of vegetable oil, four tablespoons of softened butter, two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. For decoration you need white cream cheese frosting, orange cream cheese frosting, green cream cheese frosting, and finally some sprinkles. The first step to this carrot cake is that you're going to cream together your butter, oil, white sugar, and brown sugar. You're going to cream this together until it's really well combined. Then add your vanilla to this mixture and mix it until it's incorporated well. Now what you're going to do, you're going to add your eggs in. But what you're going to do, you're going to add one egg in and then one yolk, mix it up. Then add another egg in, mix it up. Then add your last egg and your last yolk into the mixture and then mix it up. Then you're going to whisk together your flour, cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and ginger. Now you're going to add in half of your dry ingredients into the bowl and mix that up. Then add all of your milk, mix that together, add the rest of your dry ingredients, and then mix that all together one final time. Now it's time to mix it up. Well, I guess time to fold it in. Take all your carrots, put them into the batter, and then you're gonna fold all of the carrots in until you see carrots everywhere. You wanna make sure that they're well folded in and that they'll be throughout the whole cake. Pour these cakes into an eight inch pan that has been buttered and lightly floured. Then you put these in the oven at 350 and you cook them for 30 to 40 minutes, but check them at 30 minutes and see if they're done. You want these cakes to be completely cooked, but don't make them too dried out. Then once they're all done baking, take them out, flip them onto a cooling rack and let them sit there to cool. And then after they're all done cooling, you're gonna take a leveler and, and level off your cakes. After that, it's time for decorations. So Abs will be coming back. Okay Abs, so now we're gonna go ahead and decorate the cake, which is your part. I made the cake, so you can go ahead and decorate it. So what we're gonna do first is we have this wonderful cake round. And when we put our cake on the thing, we don't want it to slide around at all. So we're just gonna take um, our white frosting and make just a big dab right there in the middle. And then I'm gonna take, take this spatula and just give it a smear. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just it's the glue to hold the cake on there. Elmer's of the cake world. Yeah. And then we're gonna pipe around the outside of this, just a big gooey swirl to the outside edge. Also, um, as a tip, whenever you're doing like a second layer of a cake, you don't want the middle to be piled up super high. Instead, it's better if it's already kind of smushed out and it can just sit there and rest. One of the things that I always say is people eat with their eyes first. So they first see something and then it looks beautiful and then they are like already like predisposition to like it. So even though it's white frosting and you probably can't see it, but I can see it, there's like frosting on the edges of the board. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a wet paper towel and clean that up real quick. So now we're going to start making these really cute little carrots on top. So what I have right now is a leaf tip 
on the frosting, which means it's like bigger at the bottom and it kind of makes a shape, like a teardrop shape. And um, we're gonna want the skinnier part of the tip to be facing upwards because we want this to kind of look like a leaf. Now it's time for our carrot. So we're just gonna do like a swishing back and forth, like a Z, zigzaggy kind of a thing, and just make a make it so that it's like a triangle and it just gets smaller till the bottom. Abs even added a cute little B and B and some grass going up beside it on the side of the cake. Okay, so the cake is all done and it looks so good. So thank you, Abs, for coming over and teaching us how to decorate this carrot cake. And I'm so excited to try it. So let's go ahead and have the taste test. Cheers. All right, this is so good. You should really try this recipe, especially with cream cheese frosting. Highly recommend it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again, Abs, for coming and decorating this delicious cake. So, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload. And then like this video if you haven't already and share it with all your friends who love Easter and love carrot cakes. So, comment down below another treat that you would like me to make in the future. Click one of these two videos on this side of the screen. This one, the top one, YouTube recommends. I recommend this bottom one. And over here on my right side is the baking and buttercream icon. Make sure to click it to subscribe to my channel. All right guys, thank you so much. Have a great day.